So some people are asking questions about how this thing to organization within file, within input from a file and then process it. Like um, when you have a, a record in the text file, how you can you read and then tokenize and get a sum of numbers. Like if you look at this uh, uh, file, we have three records. So whatever the number of record does not matter. We may have like up to 1,000 or uh, one, one, 1 million records. It does not matter. The same way you process one record, the same way you process 1 million records. So the, the, the it's, it's not actually a matter of uh, looking at the number of records, actually. So one thing we should look at here is uh, looking at this one. We have the social number of this person and the social number of this person. So what you want like what somebody is asking how can we now get the sum of all these numbers like to say that okay we want to get the sum of these numbers of this part class students and get the sum of this as the sum of this uh bonus of this particular students uh, and again for this one and any number like that so the expected output uh is something going to be like this uh 1001 and then we we'll put a column and then we now get the sum of 56 plus 67 plus 78, whatever the case, whatever the value, we put it here as the final. Then the same thing for the second one, the same thing. So this is what we are expecting to see as the output. So how can we now read from the text file and then process it and display the record in form of recession number followed by the total score of that person? So going by that, then we now begin to write the this a very simple code with some few lines and don't look at the number of uh, lines actually just try to look at the logic so it does not matter i believe everybody can import c2 scanner can import io because we are dealing with uh, reading input output from a file you know we need to import this and then that is string tokenizer which is the third line let me put a number line so i can always refer you to to a number line like so if you look at line three is just importing string tokenizer class which is also in part of uh, util package and likewise scanner and in the io exception and some other file not output exception they are all part of io package so the next line four is just uh, declaring a class in record and then line five is uh, public static involvement but you should also know that anytime we are dealing with input output uh file or not necessarily file even if you are using buffer reader and some other things like reading input outputs different from the scanner we need to trust io exception so this is essential actually and if you don't do that you know you're going to have an error uh saying you have not thrown an exception so in case when you are trying to read a file that is not does not exist what is going to happen now we try to execute this and then catch if there is any error so we now see if there is file not found exception whenever that the file is not cannot be found then what should be the error message so we now say display this as an error message say error with column say file not found so that you see that okay file not found it means the file cannot be located the file you want to read does not exist something like that or even if it exists but probably because the part space pi is not correct so this is why you may have an issue so we here we now begin to say okay let's say string the records of type string like record of everybody now we are trying to read so when we read the record of everybody you can now tokenize it get separate the the session number of the person and then we now loop through each of the bonus and then we begin to now sum them like that so this is why we for each record the entire line that's why we call a record and that's record that we now try to tokenize to split them by column by semicolon by comma because looking at what's the between the session number of this person and his bonuses is actually at the column and then there's the, the, the comma that was separate between these two so these are our delimiters or separators when we comes to uh, write the program to to tokenize so we first need to create an instance of scanner class which is a um, scanner just similar to the way we normally create only that here we pass the reference of uh, file uh, file class 
file object new file then student.txt meaning uh saying that the name of the file is student student.txt but you should note that the file must exist this in the same folder where you have the record class so that it can easily be located otherwise you need to specify the part saying okay this uh, c drive slash this slash this slash up to where you store that file student.txt so now when we do that by doing this we are announcing that okay as if we have now reading the entire file so the file is going to be open for us to read so it's going to read the entire line so what we are saying here everything is loaded into the memory of input so we now input we are now we're now going to check we we'll look through because we have many records so even if this one million record it does not matter the same thing whether one or one million record so here we have record as a variable which is now remember it is declared here uh, it is declared here so we now uh, say okay so the input dot hasness means that is is there a next line means is there any record if yes then read until the end of line so whatever we read until the end of line so in this case the, in the first iteration is going to read this particular line this particular line so and then when if, if when this thing is read and it's going to be stored in record now the next line is now going to be the tokenization of the record and separate them or delimited them by what column and comma remember going by this you see column and comma so we now tokenize when we tokenize separated by column and comma we're going to have how many tokens from this one two three four we're going to have four tokens and remember the first token is not going to be be added to this because these are numbers this one is just for us to display so and that's why after the tokenization we now say system dot out dot print token dot next token token dot next token so that we now have the first token that is going to be read when we call the next token it should be this one which is uonics1001 and that's why we first display it when we display we now initialize our sum because we need to do for everybody that's why we initialize our sum to equals to zero within this while loop because when we read the next person's on the sum should be set to zero so that we now accumulate his own sum of bonus like so we now say well token that has more tokens so remember already we have taken one we have read one which is the registration number of the person now the next thing is to now look over those numbers and sum them now to look over those numbers and so then we need to be checking because we don't know though no, precisely that we know that we have just three bonuses but then what if we have one thousand or millions of bonus per person so we don't know some may have um 20 some may have 30 some may have 50 but then we need to have this check has more to come if yes then read so when we read the first one this is going to be read one by one by one by one until when there is no any more bonus that we read for the first person so in this case we now see some some which is close to zero because everything remember these numbers when we read them we tokenize they are coming in form of string so we need to convert them to double and that's why here we are calling a wrapper class double dot pass double token dot next double so this will now convert it to double as simple as that and then when we do that the next remember this while loop is the, the this this line which is line 15 is the only statement that will be executed when this while is true because there is no bracket as you can see there is no bracket so it's only this line that will be executed when this while condition is true and then after that is done we now print out the sum remember and that is why here we do not have the print line because when we have the print line after putting the session number we're now going to have a break line so we don't want to have that break line we want our cursor to still remain after putting the session number so that by the time the sum is computed it will now display on the same line with the session number after then then we now have the break line so that the next person's on will now be on the second line so and that's why it will go back and read the next line which is the next registration number and follow the same thing put the, the registration number of the second person get the sum of the bonus of the second person and then display have a new line like that this is how it will continue until when there is no more records left that is not 
being tokenized or being processed and then the program will stop so i want to believe this will help you and uh, i don't think there is any big issue with that thank you very much if there is any question feel free send it and i want to believe that you people have read and i don't want to even though i'm i'm I'm, I'm, I'm far away, but then, you know, I can sense how well you are answering your question. I can feel it myself. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best.